What's up, everybody? It's gonna be a good day today. I was fired up about this one. I would love to dive in to hormones. Shall we go? Good morning, good morning. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let's dive into this. Hormones and liver. Ooh, I got a little training for you right now. Let's go. If you are struggling with weight, are your hormones and your liver working against you? Could that be the culprit that's leaving you exhausted and frustrated and how to unlock these two superpowers to work for you instead of against you? Talk about your top detoxifier, your liver gets put under a lot of strain due to the way that we eat and the chemicals that we take in, also your hormones under a barrage from stress, chemicals, overeating, fat. You're gonna to start to learn about them right now. There are six main types of hormone dysfunction. We're gonna tie the two of these together though and show how hormones impact liver and liver impact hormones. Which one do we focus on? Well, let me dive in. One of the most common culprits and one of the most common issues that I see and that we run into, estrogen dominance. You know you have these if you have irregular periods, uterine fibroids, tender breasts, cyst in your breasts, difficulty concentrating, difficulty concentrating, foggy thinking, tearful, depressed, mood swings, fluid retention, bloating. Men, you will decrease urine flow, urine urge, prostate problems. Now, there are certainly many more hormonal issues like menopause, like PCOS, like thyroid conditions, like low androgens, like high androgens. I will be covering all of those in a training that you can access below. But this one is a huge one when it comes to unlocking weight and liver health and how these two work together. Let's dive into it quick, right? So what happens is we have excess fat on our abdomen. That function, the fat cells put off is called aromatization. What is that? It converts testosterone to estrogen, especially in men. So your belly fat produces more estrogen. So you can become lopsided in the amount of estrogen, men or women. So the more body fat, the more the body tips the balance towards estrogen and away from testosterone, or for women, away from progesterone. Remember those because there are two types of estrogen dominance. What also tips us over is xenoestrogens. If you really want a movie break or a movie weekend, you should check out the movie Plastic Paradise. It is absolutely disturbing how much plastic is in our world and the main problem with that is it puts off xenoestrogens. These mimic hormones in your body. They are endocrine disruptors. They are in all kinds of chemical compounds and they mimic your estrogen. So when you see these types of tap water, pesticides, herbicides, plastics, canned goods, receipts, would you like a receipt with that? I wanna train you now, the answer is no. Email it to me. Try not to touch it, why? Those things are caked with BPA, which is a xenoestrogen, nasty stuff. The plastics you store things in, perfumes, dyes, this is why chemicals become very important and why we have the Make Detox Simple Guide that is part of the training to help you detox from these things. Now, women, when you get these imbalances, if you are estrogen dominant, you are showing these types of symptoms. You either have excess weight, your liver is extremely toxic, or you're dealing with these types of issues. If this is you, what do we do about this, Dr. Living Good? Well, our challenge eating plan, this is activating the challenge. You can grab a free book, join the challenge, shows you exactly what to eat. You're gonna to wanna to add in a lot more carrots. Yes, carrots can help eliminate and balance estrogen. It helps metabolize estrogen that's in the gut, helps the liver, helps cancer prevention. There's the PubMed research to show it. Overall, current literature suggests that dietary carrot intake was associated with decreased risk of breast cancer because it helps balance estrogen in your body. Carrots, carrot juice. I love carrots. I like carrots and ranch, organic ranch. It's got that's an easy one. Broccoli sprouts. The sprout has 20x the amount of nutrients than the full head of broccoli. So getting them in the sprouts, putting them in your salads on a sandwich, mixing them into a smoothie, wherever you can get them, very good hormone balancers for men and women. Clean up your protein. You wanna have clean protein sources. That is because whatever's done to the animal and you eat the animal ends up in you. Whatever's done to the cow, whatever's done to the chicken, whatever's done to the fish, if they inject them with hormones to make them grow faster, that is what impacts your hormones. So we gotta clean up our proteins. Dairy, chia seeds are an excellent source. Extra fiber moves the estrogen through the system. It's also anti-inflammatory. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory and help with estrogen balance. Cruciferous vegetables do this. They're high in DIM, and that will help with the lowering of this excess hormone in the body. Fiber does it, as we talked about. Fermented foods help that gut. Hormone-free meats and dairy we touched on. That's why clean protein is so important. Reducing alcohol is gonna help that liver out and increasing the amount of water that you are drinking. Now, things to consider, an infrared sauna, 
helps to detox on a skin level, helps to get these chemicals out of there. It also helps to heat up your core, the core of your cells to almost pop, like ferment, bloom, and let the toxins go because you're heating them up at the core. So you may consider that sauna in general is a good idea. Decrease insulin dominance, hand in hand, liver problems, estrogen dominance, and hormone problems go hand in hand with insulin dominance. The more you eat, the more carbohydrate-based foods you eat, the more often you eat, the higher your insulin is. The less you work out, the less intense you work out, the higher your insulin dominance is. So we've got to move the body in a high intensity fashion, fashion to burn up that sugar in the system. We also need to eat that way. That's why that challenge meal plan really helps walk you through the basics. And then the advanced version is rotational fasting, which nothing does better against insulin dominance than that. Bowel movements, very important. Extra magnesium, extra fiber. You may consider one of our cleanses as well detoxing the liver. So there's a four step booster process to detox the liver, to get excess estrogen and properly balance and metabolize estrogen. Even if your estrogen is not really, really high, is it properly being used in your body with well, the livers in charge of that? So there are four main keys to boosting liver health. I put that training below as well. Entire breakdown, entire training. How do we fix a bogged down liver? I'll walk you through those steps and then proper supplementation. Tests you could consider, a Dutch test, dry urinary TCH, <laughs> measure your hormones. That's what it stands for. But it is testing your urine level. Blood levels can be deceiving to check out things like estrogen and progesterone. Now, what can happen is these can get really out of balance. Estrogen and progesterone can. So liver enzymes, right? Also important to look at. Is it impacting your liver? Are you having liver related issues? If that's the case, then you'd wanna make sure that you're doing the liver detox that I'm showing you below in the training. Also measuring ferritin levels can show things are backing up in the body. So breaking this down, what do I like? The advanced challenge plan, I talked to you about that. Rotational fasting, decreasing excess fat, the detox made simple guide. This helps you switch over your products to eliminate plastics and xenoestrogens. 10 minute workouts help to balance insulin dominance. So you're not insulin dominant. Adding probiotics is a very good idea. Pre, pro, post probiotics. You want the pre's and the post, not just the pros. So you wanna feed them, you wanna grow them, and you want the byproducts and the goodness of them. That's what that is. Calcium deglucurate, DIM, and maca root powder. Very good for estrogen dominance to help eliminate and balance this in the body. If you're taking birth control, I would reconsider. There's other ways to time that. You can time your cycle and know that you only ovulate and are able to get pregnant if you come in contact with sperm women in a two day, three day, max day, seven day window that that thing is hanging around, okay? So you can time that out and make sure that you are not sexually active during those times or you're using protection during those times to make sure that you don't get pregnant. That is an option to eliminate an estrogen destroying chemical, okay? There's a hormone support, there's a liver detox, okay? Things like calcium deglucurate that are in these supplements support phase two liver detox and estrogen metabolism. There's the study proving it, okay? Deglucurate include regulation of estrogen metabolism right there. And it's got a lipid lower, lowering agent as well. So focusing on that, balancing that out. Now you could be on the other spectrum, the other side of it is that your progesterone is just too low, which makes estrogen seem dominant, okay? So estrogen dominance in this regard, is that it? if your estrogen is too dominant, too high, it's because then your progesterone is too low. If progesterone is too low, then it would make estrogen seem too high. So what do we do about that? Well, zinc, magnesium are precursors to progesterone. So I would increase those, zinc and magnesium. Increasing fiber, chia, quinoa, vegetables are gonna be great sources of fiber. But that's going to help excess estrogen and help balance. And B6 helps increase it. This decreases the risk of miscarriage. So if there's miscarriage risk, B6 got it has got to go up. It's a main one to focus on. L-arginine also does this. L-arginine is found in collagen. Here's how much is in ours, right? 600 milligrams in our basics, 840 milligrams in our collagen plus multivitamin. So you're going to be getting the zinc and magnesium with this as well. You're also going to be getting B6. So that would be a key nutrient. Vitamin C is very important. Women who take vitamin C have significantly increased levels of progesterone in their system. In fact, women who took 750 milligrams or more vitamin C per day had an increase of 77%. You might be estrogen dominant because your progesterone is too low, or you could be toxic, your liver could be toxic, and that could just be making things go crazy in your system. So increasing progesterone, leveling out estrogen, clearing out the liver. The trainings are below on these to be breaking these down to really give you clear steps on how to deal with estrogen dominance. Now, 
For men, it's also broken down because that excess belly fat is the problem, right? So we want to get after rotational fasting. That's an advanced challenge plan. We also want to clean up those personal care products that are leading to excess estrogen. The 10 minute workouts are going to surge your human growth hormone better than any workout you can do. Pelvic floor exercises help this out as well to strengthen your prostate and to strengthen your, you know, the weakening of the areas because usually you have increase, decreased urine flow, increased urine urge or leakage because those muscles are weak. So pelvic floor exercises are included with the guide in the training. Apple cider vinegar is very powerful against this. ACV, you down with it. Yeah, you know me. So ACV helps prevent prostate issues. There's the study. The research is all included in the training and in the guide. And so this shows a lot of benefits because they're high in polyphenols to help fight this. DIM is a very powerful component of cruciferous vegetables or in a supplement form to help fight off Prostate issues and the health of the prostate, saw palmetto, stinging nettle, maca root, cranberry, all important for balancing the urinary tract and the prostate itself. Found in the men's hormone support, liver detox is also extremely important to fighting that off. Other things to consider, vitamin D is directly correlated with prostate issues. So increasing your vitamin D is very, very important. And just the role of too much estrogen in the system and what it does to prostate disease in general. So lower the belly fat, get the nutrients in. It's all broken down below in the trainings for liver detoxification to get rid of excess estrogen and for hormone balance. Those two trainings you can get access to and really break down how to take care of estrogen dominance so that you can feel good and look good again. Drop the weight, feel less fatigued, less hurting and sore, and have your organs properly functioning. That might be impacting your mood or might be impacting your sexual function. These are the keys. All the trainings are below. Check those out. There you go, peeps. Breaking down this training. Can you see why I'm so excited? That's just estrogen dominance at a high level. You're going to get all the resources the day of the training. You're going to get my research. You're going to get my guides. You're going to get the breakdown on all of these to know exactly how to handle your specific. And I'm going to have a quiz. If you're unsure which one is your main one, it will tell you which one it is. So dive into these trainings, sign up. There's a lot of people in your life that need help with your hormones. Don't make it an awkward thing of, hey, you've been kind of moody lately. You should come to the hormone training. No, 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 not one of those, but that might just help them pay it forward. These are free trainings for me to break down all of this knowledge and all this research that I'm putting together. I'm obviously excited. Go make it a great week. You might as well. You're never going to get it back. So let's go back to my opening song. Here's my advice to you. Don't complicate it. Keep it simple. Just work hard and be nice to people. Make it a great day, peeps. See you Wednesday for Q&A.